Now, according to the organization, the world wants democracy, um, as shown by the Afrobarometer 2012. Um, that found that almost 80% of respondents in 12 sub-Saharan African countries preferred democracy. Um, but IDEA also argues that democracy is not prescriptive and that there's no one-size-fits-all approach. So what is it exactly that we all want from democracy in your view? I think we want to be as citizens part of the decision-making process. And secondly, very important, as important as the first one, is that we want politics to deliver not only to be a kind of activity on its own, but to be um, at the service of the citizens and to deliver results. And for instance, in some mature economies, like European economies, with lots of uh, uh, critical situation in terms of uh, unemployment, for instance, yes. and social uh, circumstances, people have a feeling that democracy is not delivering. And this is very dangerous for the, for the democracy in the and future. And it's a disconnect. And it's a disconnect. Uh, of course, you have to take into account sometimes very difficult situations and uh, lots of problems like globalization, where a national government doesn't really have an impact on what's, for instance, going on in the world economy. But uh, once again, I think people want to have their say. They want that uh, people are appointed, but are also accountable elected and accountable and uh, secondly they want to be part of a process that makes politics deliver. And so in that sense do you think that there are uh, a set of basic fundamental pillars that all democracies uh, should be built upon? Well one of the human rights is to uh, to have the possibility to influence the people or the, the way uh, people are governed. We have uh, to put a lot of hope in civil society. Last weekend I was in, I was in Tunisia and there you see that uh, the democratic process, the whole of the debate of changing the constitution after Ben Ali left the country and the uh, kind of revolution was there that the Arab Spring Revolution started, um, there was a decision to, to draft a new constitution right. and we were asked to, uh, by some donor countries, by some member states, to help to make the process inclusive. Not only a decision by leaders that of course are elected, but that are politicians, disconnected from, from, the, from the population. Uh, no, having an inclusive process where, for instance, uh, uh, women's organizations, uh, trade unions, uh, other, other parts of the civil society are uh, included in the process, have their say. I think that the delivery there is that now you have a more leg legitimacy in terms of the, the constitution. Constitution now is, I was there last weekend, uh, there are a lot of citizens and, and people that are active in civil society that know very well now what is part of the constitution. I think more than in some, uh, let's say, more mature democracies in terms of uh, the history.